Hello YouTube, do not do this at home. <laughs> I'm trying to get some scratches out of my eyeglasses. This is my old pair. Uh, my new pair I got a year ago actually looks worse than these. These had a really lot of whatever I did wrong on the bifocals and tried to rub it off, had a lot of lines in it. We're going horizontal because that's easier to see through than vertical scratches. Trust me. Ask the experts. So, you'd rather look through lines that way than up and down. Anyway, we're not putting a lot of pressure on here. Because you don't know how abrasive this Q-tip is. So, we're just putting our polish on here and kind of letting it float and go real fast. Okay. Uh, we did clean up our frames with this. All the nasty gunk. You know that gunk you get around the nose pieces? Come on, be honest, it happens. They get scummy green corroded and it's, it's gross. Those were clear when they were new. We, we, we've all went through it. We're, I mean, we're men here. Well, men and women do watch, but we all, we're all grown-ups now. Don't be shy. Admit it. You get all that scuzz in there. And in the grooves of the frame. See down in the grooves? Because these lenses have a ledge on them. You see that? Fits in the groove. And that screw has to be all the way tight. I learned that from the eye doctor. If this screw is not tight, see it up in there? Then the lens is not in there correctly. There should never be a gap in there. Because that's what holds your lens in. Okay, enough of that. Let's see what they look like when we're done. You're not going to be able to really tell at that point. We're going to try to hold it up to the light. You just have to trust me whether I believe that it's made them better. Because they're just work glasses. They're, I've got my other pair, so we have not nothing to lose. Okay, this is really hard to see because I can't hold it up to the light. Here's a lens that's not been touched at all. Okay. I'm sure you can see scratches there. Let's go to the outside which gets more. And you know, wiping off your t-shirt's the worst thing you can ever do on the tail of your shirt. And even Kleenex will scratch them. And I have a cleaning cloth, and don't trust that that's any good either. You're going to get scratches no matter what you wash your glasses with. I'm trying to show you some of the beat up. Now this is just done on the outside. It is a lot clearer on the outside. Because I can see scratches, just like when you wash your car windows. You know, you look on the inside and outside. I mean, it's still smeary from the polish. I haven't buffed off all the way. But if, if I look at this, right, and I and I look down on either side, and I got rid of them scratches that was in the bifocal. I don't wear real thick glasses, as you can tell, but I have stigmatism. That's why I have a certain curve. My bifocals are only good for certain things, but you just got to trust me. See that nice gloss? If you look at that, see that? That's how nasty it looked on the outside before I started. It, but when you look around here, we're not going to get all the deep scratches. We want to get the fine scratches out. Because the clearer you can make it, and I've looked through them, and it is clear lens. Uh, if I can get a box or something like I did and set your stuff up on like that. Okay, back to work. Let's do the inside. Okay, here's your disclaimer. This product makes no claim that I know that you use them on eyeglass lenses. <laughs> or your eye doctor would recommend it. But I'll tell you what. If you look at that. Now, these are supposed to be scratch resistant coating. Ha! Ah, yeah, the new pair I got in there. And they charge you for that, too, that's supposed to be put on here. These are very, if I can get it up to the light. I mean, that was whatever a fiber. Let's try it against here. See, you can see them in there, right? But, it cleaned up some of the finer ones and polished it. Now, I do have some polish. 
uh, I can put this on and it ain't gonna last the day. It, it'd be just naked smeary. It'd be like when you get your greasy fingers. I'm liking that. See, see, the, see they're in there? See, see the scratches? They're in there, right? Look. But, they're cleaner and clearer than I can get it with eyegloss cleaner. How much are these magnifier? You know, I work without my glasses on. I didn't bring, I just put these on and see if they're, and I, out the door I go. So I'm sitting here with, I'm doing a one lens at a time case of emergency, right? Grab your glasses, I can't see. Okay, we'll put this back in our glasses, put the screw in, and that's good enough. I want I can use them for shop glass, because my prescription does not change a lot. Uh, past 10 years, up and down a little bit in one eye, so having a spare pair, and I've got a, my other pair is the same exact frames, same exact glasses, so that's pretty lucky there, huh? Over a period of the last six years, wherever I got the same, and we won't say what they cost. I've had to pay for them out of pocket, believe me. We won't say what a eyeglass frames and lenses cost now. I don't go to just any old to the mall. I go to an actual specialist eye doctor. Stigmatism and all that other stuff you get when you get older. What do you think? Let's put them together and we'll call this video done. Woo, look at that. How to start a fire with your eyeglasses. You know, I've never done that. I think what would work would be the old glass ones or something to find a pair of them real thick. Not to make fun of anybody wore them thick glasses. You know what I mean? Find a pair of them real old thick glasses. They're like a magnifying glass. You can start a fire with the sun. Okay, enough yak. I'm talking too much. I'm just showing you. They're still in there, see? But they're a lot clearer. A lot clearer than a pair that's not... Oh, you're not going to be able to do this on frame. The pair that I just cleaned up... But I did clean these really good with cleaner. So I, I have to say, they are pretty clean. But to me, they're better when you look through them. Okay, let's get back to work and get this video done. Okay, we are done. Don't them look nice and clean? Now, I put these on after doing the left lens, right? Went did a few things, went in the house, checked the computer. And the lens that was undone, everything was foggy. It's just like if it was foggy outside, smoky in the room, in a bar room full of smoke. Anyway, we won't go there. No, we don't go there anyway. That's what it was like. That's how to describe it. <clears throat> so that's the difference. Said there's still some deep scratches in there, but they're a lot clearer when you look through them. Oh, I wanted to show this. I made this out of a safety pin. This was to clean the groove out in the frame. Because that ridge I showed you on the lens that goes there, that's to clean all that groove out and the gunk behind there. And I said, I get replacement nose pieces, but they get that way, they get icky looking. I swore these were made in Italy. Now, these weren't cheap frames, believe me. I'm not even going to show you a brand name. They're not cheap. And I like to make frames old school. You know, uh, remember the airplane pilots, guys, theirs were more drop down. So, since I was a teenager, I always liked the beggar frames. And I used to get the kind that darkened. Can't afford them now. I just got clip on sunglasses that clip over the edge. But, no, they've tried to talk to me to get the smaller lenses no i want to be able to see without moving my head all over when you got a small set of lenses you'll find out you move your head everywhere to look at stuff i want to keep my peripheral vision you know i want to see stuff out of the corner of my eye we can open these up here all oh, my field of vision i don't want to be little lenses you're like this you're, you're looking around at something like out in the distance there is definitely, even older scratches, like I said, look at the gloss to them. So the company makes no claim, you know, as you can use, but I do know a channel where the guy used a high dollar polish that will take a lot of them scratches out of there if I wanted to buy it at $20 a bottle. It's like a two or three step process. 
that's it we're out of here we're done thanks for watching